So once all our cluster blocks have been completed, the next step is going to be to do any buttonhole stitches. And these are indicated on the pattern by these stitches, long stitches with the hook on the end. So it's similar to the cluster blocks, slightly different, and they're usually used um, just outside the cluster blocks as an edging on a piece. And they are in this piece as well. So to begin the thread, we're going to begin by weaving in the end in the cluster blocks. So we don't need to use a waist knot for these. And then I'm going to bring it up here. And this piece, it is four threads away from the edge of this cluster block and four threads away from here. So you can see this would make a little square. I'm bringing it up right in the corner. With cluster blocks, we did a stab stitch where we put the needle in, pull it out in the bottom. With buttonhole stitch, we're going to do a um, more sewing stitch where we put it in and bring it up in one movement. So I'm going to put it in back in the same hole as this cluster block stitches and bring it out at the same hole that we came up at. So we are doing double duty here. And we'll pull that through. So you can see this thread is hooked around so it will leave a top a little loop. So next we're going to do another stitch right beside it and again it's over four threads the same as the stitches in the cluster blocks so we're going to do five parallel stitches over four threads just like the cluster blocks. The difference is that we have this little loop on the top and that leaves a little edging on the edge of the piece. So here we've done our five stitches and then we can see on the chart now it's time to do a corner. So the corner is just three diagonal stitches worked with this same hole. So this hole will have a lot of stitches attached to it. So we're just going to do one two, three diagonal stitches. And then we're going to be starting on the next set of five, which is going to go up here. And this is going to be the same hole again. So this hole has five buttonhole stitches worked out of it. One in this unit, then three diagonal to turn the corner and then one in this unit. So be careful not to pull too tightly because you don't want to have a big um, gaping hole, even though there's so many threads there. It should all lay fairly flat and smooth. And then we're going to continue along five this way and then turn a corner and come down and these, the buttonhole stitches are echoing the cluster blocks. So we'll have a nice uh, border diamond around the edge of those. So here we've done five stitches this way, three to turn the corner, five across the top, three to turn the corner, and then five down this way. So the next stitch is going to be from this hole and into this hole. So we might have to just lift that stitch up out of the way so we can see that we're coming up in the right spot. And then once it's there, we can just gently pull everything back into place and we're going to continue along coming down with steps, 
Then turn again and we're making another diamond that echoes the diamond of cluster blocks. The buttonhole stitches will go all the way around the outside. So here's the buttonhole stitch finished all the way around. So it's another diamond just on the outside and the buttonhole stitch ridge gives a nice little finish to the edge of the piece and that also means when it's finished we can if we want to cut this out and have a freestanding section. So the next step after buttonhole stitch is to do any eyelets and then we can start cutting the threads away. For more tutorials, projects and patterns, check out ebitastudio.com.